Now we're ready to finish the wedding cake. So we want to really accent the lace pieces on this cake. So I've taken some uh, super pearl dust and just put it in a little bowl. And I like using um, uh, Everclear, which is an edible alcohol. Um, it's sort of like a vodka, but it's just sort of a generic um, consumable alcohol. You can also use uh, lemon extract if you want to, but not water. It's got to be an alcohol or the lemon extract. So I'm going to put several droppers of the alcohol in here. And I'm sort of going to make a, a very th um, sort of a loose paste. I want this really, whoops, I want this kind of liquidy when I'm done so that I can paint it on. Now what a lot of decorators do is they'll take these lace pieces and they'll put them on a like a paper towel or something and they'll pearlize them with dry pearl dust before they put them on the cake. But I really wanted to do this tutorial for people who have not done a lot of cake decorating. And when you're working with pieces that are pearlized and you're trying to put them on the cake, you tend to get pearl dust everywhere. It gets on your hands, it gets on the cake, it falls on the cake below, it falls on your board, and then you end up with sort of a mess because there's pearl dust everywhere. So I wanted to show you a different way of doing it that would give you a little more control over it. And I'm going to have them come in and do a nice tight shot of the consistency of this in a second. Okay, we're ready. This is the consistency I want. It's, it's really very liquidy. So it's just a pearl dust with a little bit of water, um, alcohol in it. And you can even go thinner than this as you want. Now as you're putting it on the cake, you'll realize that it starts getting thicker because the alcohol evaporates. So let's start on the back of the cake, right on the top. Try not to put too much on your brush at once so it doesn't drip. And then just lightly brush these decorations. And you'll see all that nice lace detail start popping out. And I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom. I'm actually going to use a little smaller brush on the bottom. There, that works better. And these are just artist brushes. These are the, the Global Sugar Art um, Sugar Craft brushes that we sell. I'm going to add a little bit more because it's already thickened up. Okay, so let's get one whole border done so you can see it. You can see that it doesn't take a lot to really accent that border. All the details start popping out. We're almost all the way around the cake here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so there's the top border. Don't forget to do the very top edge too. Because if someone's looking down on the cake or if it's on a low table, the top edges will show. All right, now let's go to a smaller brush and do that, uh, that bottom. Again, this is the back of my cake. I have one more little piece to put back there to finish this. Now, if you want to add an element of color, you can color these um, borders. You could use like a light pink border or you could mold them in white and then lay them down on a paper towel and use a little bit of petal dust or luster dust and you could make the roses pink and the leaves green. Um, it, it's your choice on how you want to accent the cake. We're going to use some pink flowers on the top. So I really wanted all of the cake to have 
just the pearlized lace. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this. I'm going to pearlize all of this and we'll be right back to show you how to complete the cake. Okay, here's the final, the final project. We have now put the pearl glaze or the pearl dust with the alcohol on all the borders. So now we're ready to finish the cake. I've chosen um, sort of a deeper pink uh, ribbon. These are 5 8 inch ribbon you can buy at any um, craft store or sewing store. And I like to use a glue stick. And that foam board that you have on the bottom is a half inch. And uh, these are foam boards that we have on our website at Global Sugar Art. They're very sturdy and they're great for tiered cakes. So that's a half inch board or you can use a foil covered drum that's a half inch. And by the time you put your layer of fondant on there, it comes up to about five eighths of an inch. So we start in the back and we just put that ribbon right around and that will stick right to the glue. I usually like to match my ribbon to something on the cake or to the flowers. Um, th it sort of weights the bottom of the cake down with color. Um, okay, so we got our ribbon on. And for the top, I've chosen a large T-Rose gum paste spray. And I've used what they call a cell stick. And this is a little plastic stick with it's hollow in the middle. It's a little tube. And I pushed all the wires down into the tube. And then I just arranged this so it would stand up on the cake. And I've also colored the petals a little bit uh, with some petal dust and a little pearl dust. I have a separate uh, video on this as well. And then right in the center of the cake, facing forward, we're just going to push that right into the cake. Oops. There we go. And then we can arrange that however we want. We'll get it to, to move in the direction we want. It's all on wires, so they're very easy to fix. There we go. There, I think that's pretty good. It's hard to see from the side. Okay. Okay, now that we have the top piece on, we're going to do some pieces on the side as well. And for this, I'm using the small T-Rose uh, gum paste sprays. And again, I've colored them and accented them. I'm going to use a pair of pliers and I'm going to cut maybe an inch or so of the wires off of the bottom. And I'm just going to bend that back on both of these. And I'm going to use the same thing I used on top. I'm going to use a cell pick. I've put one in on this side already. And I'll show you how they go in. They just, I'm going to line them up on both sides. And I'm just going to push that right into the cake. And then it's a simple matter of putting the wires down in your cake or down into, this, into the cell pick and just arranging these on the cake. Here we go. Here we go. And we're done. So it's a very, very easy cake to make. Again, the, uh, the cake was a 12 inch, a nine inch, and a six inch. I used the Karen Davies Alice Lace Mold. I used the larger one for the bottom, and I used the small one for the top. I used the Karen Davies uh, Piped Rose Border for the middle here, and I used the Global Sugar Art Rose Border for the bottoms of the top tier and the bottom tier. And we just used Super Pearl Dust and a little alcohol to accent those. And these were pre-purchased gum paste sprays that we just assembled on the cake to finish the project. So you can see it's not a really, really difficult cake to make, but it does have a little bit of a wow factor. So give it a try. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You can find all our products at globalsugarart.com. Thank you very much.